Hi everyone, my name is Lily Gil Valera and I am so proud to share that I'm actually the first woman to vote in my family. And you may be wondering, how is that even possible? Well, I am an immigrant from Colombia and I am living out the American dream as a business owner now. But I came to this country when I was 17, so basically uh, here, as a naturalized American citizen, I get to vote and exercise that incredible privilege so that we can keep protecting our freedoms and basically enabling a better society for all. Uh, and that's very exciting. So uh, many of you were blessed to be born in this nation and I was not. And I guess I'm proud to represent the voice of immigrants and women who come to this country uh, to contribute, to uh, make a better living for their families, live out their dreams, and in my case, you know, through a corporate career and eventually turning into an entrepreneur, create jobs, grow, drive impact, and of course, vote so that our her voices are heard. Uh, of course, none of this would be possible in my life without the great influence of women like my mom, uh, rest in peace. We lost her to breast cancer a couple of years ago, but she was a trailblazer and I'm definitely voting and taking action and advocating in honor of her legacy. Uh, she was one of the uh, only uh, women in her chemistry uh, graduating class in the University in Columbia and very quickly rose up to become one of the first female executives in the Colombian oil company. So I'm definitely following her footsteps and carrying her very close to my heart. Uh, and of course, right before her was my grandma, who was, I think, the first uh, female principal of a big, big school in Bogota, Colombia, uh, and definitely was a trailblazer in education and definitely pushing young girls to get educated and, and, and be influential in their society and communities. So here I am humbly and proudly, I guess, carrying the voice of Hispanic Americans, of immigrants like myself that now get to call this amazing country my home. And of course, as I always tell people, uh, tweeting or reposting or putting fun pictures on Instagram or Facebook are not gonna cut it. You need to get out and vote and let your voices be heard. So thank you to all the women that have worked so hard and all the men that have also supported that journey so that we can celebrate these hundred years of rights and freedom and suffrage for us women. So cheers to a hundred years more. Bye.